Hi, it's Jill from Jelly Bean Studio. Welcome to my channel. I love to play with different kinds of journals and mixed media art. I am currently working in three different kinds of journals and today I'm gonna to work in my journal for junk journal July. So I hope you can grab whatever supplies you have and journal along too. This is a little journal I made from a 4x5 greeting card. I do have that in my mixed media playlist if you care to check that out. And I'm using the prompts for Junk Journal July by Meg at Meg Journals. So check her out on YouTube and Instagram. And so many others that have uh, just great inspiration. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. So just look for the hashtag Junk Journal July. For me, I have a pile of papers that I put together and I'm really loving as one of the things that I'm including in this journal, this old cookbook. It was my mom's and from back in the day and there was some also kid doodling in it and all over it. I've actually made a new discovery about the doodling, so <laughs> there will be more on that later. There was a little mystery involved that was, uh, that was solved, so, <laughs> oh gosh. And for today's session, I'll take you through some of the beginning prompts, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on the fold out prompt. So on the interior cover, I took this quote from Josh Billings, I really love that backed it with a little magazine page, some paint on a little leaf there. On the right hand side, I made this tag and did some book pages, the letter B from a dictionary page. And I love this bold stamp. I think it's from Joanne's The Park Lane Collection. Stamped on some tissue paper and put that on the back. So like that to, to start out. And then for reinvent, I made this little belly band, stapled it in, coffee dyed a bit, a few splotches, and decided to work on an altered playing card, or make it, <laughs> work on a playing card and make it an altered playing card for the reinvent prompt. Again, I used some paint and tissue paper, some uh, washi tape for the background, and so that was a lot of fun. I stamped the image on tissue paper as well for that one. On the right hand side for layered tag, I took some packaging from some Tim Holtz labels or something I bought and put some of these images on from tea bags and tea envelopes, some coffee dyed papers, and again, I have that little bit of ribbon. And I, I didn't wanna go over the too much of the background. I wanted to be able to see some of that recipe page and the, the old time kid doodling in it. So I kind of centered the tag and the pocket uh, towards the right hand side of the page. And for transparency, I did some coffee dyeing and uh, some doodling on tracing paper. Tracing paper lately has become one of my favorite supplies. It's obviously <laughs> meets the transparency need and it's real easy to work on. I, I usually draw with a micron on the front and color on the back of it with some mild liners. So that's what I did to make that pocket for the transparency prompt. For today's session, I am gonna work through the fold out prompt. And so I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I think I have a few ideas going. The first idea is to somehow use this vintage envelope. I love the images on it. I love the stamps. So that's my first consideration. And I also have a bunch of coffee dyed papers since I have a lot of coffee dyeing in this journal. I think that could be a nice addition. This is an office supply type piece of paper. It has like a ledger look to it. So I thought that might be something to use. And then again, because this is a small journal made out of a smaller greeting card, I have these littler envelopes and that could be a good fold out. It's real easy to attach an envelope. 
And as I continued to dig through my stash, I had one more idea. This is some stationery I bought, I think at a bookstore. Comes in a pad. These are really sweet. They have, you can actually write in them. There's, I don't know if you can see this, there's lines and you can fold your tiny envelope and <laughs> have a cute little letter. I decided to take the stationery and use it instead though as a template because I didn't like that blue color. It was, I didn't think it would work in this journal. So yeah, I grabbed some of that recipe paper and I have a cute little envelope. So these are all the possibilities <laughs> running through my brain right now. If I'm going to do a single page spread or a double sp page spread, I'm not really sure, but I think these are, these are the things I'm going to go with today. So how is your junk journaling going or journaling in general? Are you doing the challenges? Are you checking them out? I have found so much inspiration in, um, especially I've looked at Meg's videos with her layering. I think it is so pretty, all of the layering she's doing lately. And uh, I definitely am inspired to try to try more myself. So after some thought, I don't know about you, I just, I really like to play with paper for a while <laughs> before I make my decisions. So after that paper play, I decided I am gonna use a copy of the envelope because if I use the envelope itself, it would be too thick. And I wanna preserve that anyway for use in future journals. So I'm folding it in sort of a door fold or a gate fold where you have three sections. And I just run my scissors over that. Make sure I have a crisp edge. And I like the way the stamps are lining up. And I still have the ship image on the bottom. I think that'll work. Before I put that on the page though, I'm gonna ink it a little bit on the inside so I don't have the white inside and I can use that for writing or more or adding more images. Just gonna grab my Distress Oxide. I tend to be a light inker, I don't know. I just, I like a light, a light touch to my inking. And I also will speed up the video a bit. I tend to just go through those clips. <laughs> Takes me a while to ink. And that is the vintage photo. And after I thought about it, oh, let's get that in the right direction. There we go. <laughs> after I thought about it for a while, I decided I didn't like the long rectangle shape to this. I wanted more of what I'm calling a gate fold. So a little bit of an arch on the top And I think that will be really cute. It will be more like a, a garden gate. It's summer here and I was, uh, I went, we were able to travel a couple hours to a beach and some of the houses and cottages along the beachway have these really pretty gates and everything's in bloom now here really gorgeous. So this kind of has that, that little bit of a feeling. Here we go. Now I'm just thinking about the positioning of this. Yeah, so I like that summer feeling working in this journal in summer, of course, in the month of July. And that's what our climate is warm right now. I don't know where you are, but we're in the 80s and the 90s. And I like this design. <laughs> All right, now playing with that little envelope again, not sure where this cutie belongs. I thought for a while I would put it on the inside, but it, it again, it just adds a little bit of bulk when it's in there so that the gate doors will, I think it'll, I'll have a harder time keeping them closed. So 
So with a little bit more of playing around and gluing, I decided to leave the envelope out. And oh yeah, add a little bit of washi tape. The washi tape is a, you probably know this, but is a low tack tape and it makes like a little latch there for the gate. So it will keep it closed if I do some journaling or whatever inside. I also found this really cute postcard stamp and decided to put that inside the tiny envelope. I'm gonna glue stick that down and just be careful with the, uh, when you're doing a fold out, <laughs> a tip is watch your directions because I almost put this in upside down. I'll show you what I mean. When I glue stick this down, the envelope is gonna fold down on the page so you want to make sure that your image is, is actually going in the right direction. So you, there we go. So you can see it. There's a bit of a close up. I like that. So two little fold outs on this double page spread, a recipe in the background and some coffee dyeing. I do not think I will ever, ever, <laughs> I want to say make pineapple ham loaf <laughs> that will not that will not happen in my kitchen but I love the images I love that little piggy up at the top and the images on the front of this envelope and I just think about my mom looking at this cookbook <laughs> I don't think she made pineapple ham loaf but I love the uh the sentiment attached. And I'm just gonna go over the, the edges here, ink up around the word fold out, the prompt. And I think we'll almost call that finished. Garden gate and little envelope. And now the cookbook mystery. So <laughs> I said in an earlier video, I thought it was my doodling and it isn't. It's my sister. I saw my little sister's name in the book. So <laughs> she was the doodler, not me. But guess what? I'm the big sister and I'm not gonna tell. <laughs> I added a little bit of washi tape to finish off these pages. Thank you to all subscribers. I really appreciate you and thank you so much for watching.